Hello again, folks. Guess who? It's Barry with Barry's A-Track and Classic Car Radio Repair with another 1970 Charger slash Challenger unit. Um, this was a previously a conversion done by another manufacturer, and uh, that conversion actually lasted a pretty long time, and the customer uh, sent it to me to do a, uh, an Aurora conversion, uh, which is uh, my, preferred, uh, my preferred product. And so... Uh, just going to go ahead and run her through uh, all its tests. Uh, this customer did request Bluetooth, and just a quick little note on what happens when you have a Bluetooth. Now, in this unit, the only place to install the, the Bluetooth module is on the side here, and it does come with a, uh, an external microphone, but it also has an internal microphone, so you can use either one, uh, plugging in the external mic, which is on a 9-foot cable, and you can put it uh, like under your visor. Uh, plugging in the external mic cancels out the internal mic. Uh, and as it stands, uh, the internal mic is right next to this uh, hole that the track change plunger goes into so that it's got a, a way to receive uh, the speaker's voice for hands-free phone use. Let's just go ahead and turn her on and run it through its paces. Turn on my power switch here. Okay, I do have it set to FM at the moment. This is, a new, of course, an FM conversion, so we're just going to go ahead and run it down the dial. Make sure we pick up a whole bunch of stations here. And stage soprano Yulia Van Doren and guest with selling on the site, niche and novelty food. Oh, baby, the your mom this summer? Remember, so do Bud. <laughs> There's about 10 stations so far. Smoke alarm going off in my friend. Strike one. Another curveball. Hugo tickling the ivories. He just and takes medication to control his cholesterol. Best of all, I can earn cash. Yeah, it's about 20 there. Obscurity. I would. Dot com. Don't miss it. And drifted the snow up against the. Yeah, it's about thirty right there. Okay, so about 30 FM stations. Let's flip it to an AM, and the way that we do it on a radio that does not have an AM FM switch, we just turn it off and then right back on within about half a second. So off on. Now we're on the AM band. Should be getting something around 1400. The bank has no interest There's one. In maybe maybe another one close by. All the lies Obama told. Here's two. The and we'll pick one up around the center of the dial in this area. There's one I wasn't expecting. It's a bonus station. Interesting sound effects. Okay, and there's our strong station right about the center of the dial. Okay, we're going to go back to FM just for fun. And now we're going to uh, we're going to bring our output level of meters to the picture so we can demonstrate our balance control and the virtual fader. Uh, on this radio, we use the original balance control. We're going to go all the way left, all the way right, left, right. Okay, back to center. Now we're going to activate the virtual fader. This radio now has a front rear fader. We activate that by giving our tone control uh, two turns upwards on, on a Chrysler, on the thumb wheel unit. It's two turns upwards. So we'll try that. We should hear four beeps. There's our four beeps. And now the same control is adjusting front, rear, front, rear. I'm going to center him. I'm going to let it time out. One beep lets us know the setting's been saved, and we can now return our tone control to the optimum listening position. 
Um, okay, we've demonstrated that. Now we're going to pop a tape in and make sure the tape works. And uh, I'm going to turn the tone control down a little bit because I've, I put quite a bit of a brightness into this uh, into this tape section. Um, I do replace the original preamp with my own hand-built preamp, which is designed to bring out more treble from these old tapes. So we don't need this stuff anymore. We'll just pop some Ann Murray in here, see how Ann's doing tonight. That was an automatic track change. Okay, now the customer has his track change plunger, so I'm just going to use a screwdriver. Okay, I'm going to eject the tape, which on this unit you can do either by pulling on the track change plunger or just turning the unit off, and it'll spit that tape out so you can grab onto it. Mm. And now we're back on the FM band. We're going to check our line input real quick, which is right here on the back. Just going to feed a quick tone into it, into both sides. There is one side, and there is the other side. Now, after using the aux input, there is a 20-second delay before the radio comes back. You can cancel that delay just by turning it off and then turn it right back on, and the radio will work immediately. But the... Um, the, the reason that it, uh, that it, the, the delay is the, uh, it's designed to hold onto the aux signal a little bit longer than it really needs to, and that's just to keep it from switching back and forth between songs and during quieter music passages. So here's our radio back, and the only thing left is to uh, activate the Bluetooth and make sure it activates. Uh, there's a few ways to do that. I'm going to do it by turning the volume control twice in the direction of higher volume. We should hear a female voice saying, ready to pair, or Bluetooth ready to pair. Here we go. Bluetooth ready to pair. Alrighty. And so the unit is now trying to pair with a portable Bluetooth device, and I don't have one uh, handy that I'm demonstrating at the moment, so of course it won't do that. So that means in 90 seconds that female voice will come back on saying, pairing not completed. And that uh, concludes the test. Uh, this is a pretty uh, short and sweet unit, and you, you've uh, I've got so many uh, 70 Chrysler slash Challenger units on my website already, you're probably sick of looking at them. So, um, We'll go ahead and close this video and I'll get back to work here. Uh, this is Barry with Barry's 8-Track and Classic Car Radio Repair. Needless to say, if you have an 8-Track unit either for home or for car use, I'm your man. You can reach me at 928-533-9666 and you can, you've just seen one of the many things I can do with a, uh, with a Classic Car AM radio. Of course, we can add FM, Bluetooth, auxiliary input, USB reader, and on some Delco radios, I can even double the number of FM station presets. So, that being stated, I'm out of here. My website is in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and listening, and we'll see you next time.